Hey guys, welcome to Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we're going to be talking about how to get a backlash or a bird's nest out of a bait casting reel. Alright, so one of the things you're going to need for getting a backlash out of a bait casting reel is a scissor. Now, you want to tighten up your drag pretty tight so that you can just hit down the button and pull out the line that you possibly can. Alright, so we're just pulling out Got the thumb on the uh, the spool, pulling out line. All right, we're stuck. All right, we can't go any farther. We got a pretty bad, um, pretty bad knot right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and cut it right underneath the knot. All right, so what we're gonna focus on right here. Let's focus literally. So what we're gonna focus on is the line that we're pulling. So you can see, let's focus it right there. All right, so as you can see, we have the line that we're pulling right underneath these knots right here, underneath these. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull it up. So now we're gonna cut it right here. Yes, we're losing line, but this is the easiest way. All right, so we dropped couple feet of line. So now what we're going to do is get to the next knot, which shouldn't be too far away, yep. And we're going to figure out how to pull this out. This is a pretty bad backlash. Alright, so we hit the button down, pulling it, pulling it, to the next knot, which is right there. And now that we have a little bit of line Instead of that 10 feet, this is going to be a whole lot easier to get out. So we're going to find that line right there, and then pull, next knot. Where is it? Right there. And then slip through, next knot. It's better to do this than to just take your knife or uh, scissors and cut away all the line, because you lose a whole lot more line that way. All right, so we're just going to pull. Don't pull too tight if you're using braid. Um, you may cut yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's happened. So you're just going to pull out until, until the spool is all nice and neat, just like it was before the backlash. So yeah, this is gonna take a while, but you're gonna save a whole lot more line. So let's actually, let's reel this up. Now, if you didn't put it through the little eye, the uh, little eyelet right there, you're gonna have to manually move the line across the bait casting spool, just so that it fits and spools up nicely. So there you have it. All right, so let's recap what we just talked about. You're gonna need a pair of scissors and you want to pull the line out as far as you can before that knot. And then once you see that knot, you're going to cut underneath the knot of the same line. Because then that releases the knot area, and then you can pull more. And then once you reach the next knot, what you're going to do is you're going to take the back end of the line, pull it through the knot so it's released from that knot. And you're going to keep doing that and doing that until your spool is completely free and clean. You're going to lose... Depending on your uh, your backlash, you're going to lose a few feet or a little bit more than that, 10, 15 feet. But that's a whole lot better than just cutting and cutting and cutting and then losing 80 feet of line. So I um, hope this helps. Uh, I definitely want to hear from you guys. So I have a new website. It's called www.getrealbassfishing.com. You guys can post there. Um, Go to our con contact section on the uh, website and there's everything that you can contact us on. Be sure to subscribe. Add a comment below this video. I love hearing from you guys. Let me know what you guys think of the videos, what you guys want to see next. Um, anything that you really want to tell me, just, uh, just post it. Uh, thanks guys for watching and be sure to subscribe again. Uh, stay real.